I'm out in the forest today because it's been really rainy and super humid and I am seeing mushrooms popping up all over the place, all different kinds and varieties. So I thought today would be a good day to go look for one of my favorite edibles, the combs tooth. I'm in this particular part of the forest, it's uh, the old growth section, because I saw it here uh, before a couple of years ago. And at the time it was a little bit beyond harvesting. So I wasn't able to enjoy any of it. And it might even have been on this very log right here. It likes uh, hardwood, dead hardwood, that's fairly well on in the decomposition process. Um, maple mostly, from what I've seen. And uh, when you're walking through the woods looking for it, it's really obvious. It's, when it's fresh, it's bright white and stands out like a sore thumb. So always uh, remember to look up the trees as well because sometimes it can be growing up 10, 20 feet up a snag. Unfortunately, they're usually too high to get to. But uh, if you're lucky, you might find one down low enough to be able to harvest it. Uh, the deer love them. So the ones on the logs generally get eaten up. So you really got to be there at the right time. It's a very unusual find. So I will continue to look around and see if maybe we can get lucky. I wasn't having much luck, so I was checking out some of this reishi growing on this dead hemlock. I was seeing all kinds of mushrooms everywhere. Unfortunately, no combs tooth. Doing one last check, hoping to get lucky. And sure enough, something white caught the corner of my eye. And there it was beautiful clump of combs tooth perched on top of this old maple. Unfortunately it was so high up I was going to need a ladder. bunch here. A little bit uh, turning uh, tannish but still uh, edible. And there it is. A little bit of effort getting to it but it's worthwhile because I'll tell you this stuff is delicious. Tastes kind of like uh, lobster actually. It actually turns pink when you saute it in butter. And uh, it's a little chewy. So it has the consistency of lobster. It's kind of like lobster of the woods for those that uh, love seafood but can't eat seafood. So I bring a uh, Tupperware container with me because it's very delicate and uh, you don't just want to put it in a sack or something. So I'm going to cut off some here and carefully load it into my container. It's nice because it's up high and it's relatively clean. When you're down low on the ground a lot of times it's loaded with pine needles and you have to take a long time to pick them out by hand. Oh this stuff looks good. Check out the reason they call it combs tooth. Each of these little fibers. I don't know if we can get this thing in focus or not. You can see the little, looks like little combs hanging down. Let's see if we can get one right there. There's one sticking out. See that? Like a little comb. It's going to be a nice little batch here. And you can freeze it and use it later too. Look at that nice batch there, huh? She's growing way down in there, look at that. A 
a little bit dirty down in there. So, I think I'm going to take some of this and spread it around on my way back if I see any other hardwoods that are rotting and decomposing I'm going to lay down some spores along the way. So basically just find any old dead hardwood tree that's decomposing nicely and take some of these and stuff them in the cracks. Hopefully they'll take hold. Here is probably a beech, maybe, or birch, I think. It'd be a birch. Not sure if it'll work on a birch or not. Definitely hit all the maples, though. I'll come back next year and see if that did anything. Experiment. The one bad thing about it is it is quite difficult to clean. Sometimes it's got pine needles in it and uh, other dirt, wood chips from the tree. So the best way to do it is to just run it under water. And I like to take a little utensil that uh, can kind of scrape into the pores or in between the cones and and I try to flush as much of the stuff out as you can. Takes a lot of time, but it's well worth it. <clears throat> now it's not too uh, hard to identify this mushroom out in the wild. It belongs to the Heresium genus, and there are a couple other ones that. Uh, are similar. One's called the uh, lion's mane. And another one is uh, bear's head tooth. I've never seen those in my woods, but uh, they're all edible. This one here like I said, uh, as a seafood taste, lobster, and I love it. I'll cook some up here in a minute. I get enough of it cleaned up here. I like to saute them in butter. That's about it. Once you've got them cleaned up, Heat your butter up in a pan and drop them in. You can see this starting to turn pink. And you cook them down until they're all nice and uniformly pink. It takes about five minutes or so depending on the temperature you're cooking them at. You can see the difference between the uh, original and the cooked version. 
Well, that looks pretty good to me. Bon appétit.